In today's video, I'm going to share with you the Trips tied in version of Double Post. I have to tell you, this concept, I actually really, really love it. I hated it at first, but the more that I got used to it, the more effective that it has become for me. I think it's a great concept whenever your opponent honestly is trying to stop some of your, maybe your hitches, maybe they're going to some main coverage. Um, you know, this is a great concept for Double Mabel. It's just a simple little play, but again, it's a really good way for trips tied in to continue to complement itself throughout the formation. So we're going to share with you in this video exactly how to set this up. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're talking today about the trips tied in in the New England Patriots playbook. If you've not already gotten my trips tied in ebook, I would really encourage you to do that. I've been spending probably the greater part of the last three years studying this formation uh, as deeply as I possibly can. I really do feel like um, I'm starting to actually come into my own within these kind of formations. I think that it's actually much better this year than it was last year, even though a lot of the best trips players from last year decided they wanted to go run bunch. And to be quite honest with you, I think they're really missing out because trips tied in this year, I think is much better than it was last year, specifically in the regard of pass protection, the way the pass protection works from this formation. It's actually very effective. So that being said, guys, if you want to get that ebook or if you just want to get all my ebooks, I've got 14 of them available uh, in my Patreon. You get all of them by signing up for the Patreon. They're just one price of $10 a month and you get everything. You get all the ebooks that I've released, all the ebooks I'm going to release, all the updates, exclusive tips. There's a private one on one messaging platform within the Patreon where you can ask your questions and I'll respond within 24 hours. So a lot of really good stuff over there at the Patreon membership. If you've not signed up for it, there's a link in the description below for you to be able to do that. But guys, let's talk about this concept. Now, you can honestly do this out of anything. Um, you don't really, you know, you, you don't really don't need like a, a specific play. I do this typically out of curl flat just because a lot of it is already set up for you um, in terms of what we're going to look for here. So we're just going to come out and curl flat from trips tight end. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to, drag the inside slot receiver we're going to drag or i'm sorry in route the running back and we're going to flat the tight end now i know it might look a little weird but this is one of the best combos in the game and it really is meant to be truly an underneath you know trying to really hit them underneath right and what you're going to notice here is the flats get pulled out and because of the spacing that you can find within trips tight end this route combo actually executes a lot better than it looks. And the reason why is because there's so much horizontal space on the field where these zones are going to get pulled. So you'll see right here on this right side, look at this right here. Look how I can just fit that right in that little window. And that's 10 yards. Like that's 10 yards. Even though it looks like a little three yard dunk, it's a 10 yard pass, has potential to be a big play if they blitz. The same thing is true for the running back. You'll see here, just kind of wait on the pocket to develop. And that's about three to five yards. And you can do this over and over and over again. It's, it's truly one of my favorite little plays here. It's great against man, great against zone. Just dump it right there. Then you got some room to run. And as you can see, this is just something really, really effective for forcing the defense to have to push a lot of zones down underneath. So what you're going to force them into is something that looks kind of like this, where we have two shaded down vertical hooks. We have two hard flats on the play. Now what you're going to see because of those uh, hard flats, and I'll show you a little little minor adjustment to this that I think you're going to really love in just a second. Um, that I Again, it's kind of a two-play piece, but this is because it's a little bit inverse. It looks almost exactly the same, but it's just one little tweak, and you're going to frustrate the crap out of your opponent because the, now it's not going to be able to stop the drag. Okay, But anyways, you're going to force them into a zone like that, and then as you see here, all the zones are down. But you see how the vertical hooks are getting sucked to the inside? And I can still complete these routes. Now, again, I'm not completing them for a touchdown, but I am completing them for you know short little gains here and there. Now, um, the other thing that I haven't hit on yet, though, is think about Mabel coverage for just a second, how the Mabel coverage is going to work. Remember that if they play a hard flat over there, and let's say that flat is 5 on 5, watch what happens here. You've got a curl that you can then aggressive catch or secure catch depending on the situation. So I've got a nice little curl in the back side of this. And the curl is really what makes this, I think, a, such a powerful concept. Because now what they have to do is they have to do something that looks kind of like this. And now we're really getting them, 
you know, to have to kind of overextend to stop a curl. So, you know, something like this is pretty much what you're going to have to see, you know, maybe a three rec. And now if you take a look at how this is all going to play out, well, now, you're, now your running back is going to be in a lot better of a situation, right? Because the vertical hook is no longer there. So you can just kind of check it down right there. Or we can wait on it. And, you know, again, at that point, they're dropping, you know, 10 or so, 10, 11 players back into coverage. Now, so you saw the very specific adjustments that they're going to have to take to stop this. This is obviously not going to be a good adjustment to defend a deep crossing route, really even a slant route from this formation. It's only good to defend this. It's probably one of my favorite little horizontal concepts in the game. Man coverage will not stop this concept, and I'll show that real quick. You're going to see right here that if I get man-to-man, -man, watch these flats get pulled out of the way, and then I just take my drag, and as you can see, you know I could turn that into a, a 20 to 30 yard gain against man to man. Same thing with the running back on the backside. I've got the and then I've got the um, the route to the the curl route. So I've got a lot of options, right? I got a lot of options. They're going to have to really come underneath if they're going to really want to stop this. And really, what you're going to set them up to have to play is something like this, like a cover two, um, kind of like a cover two here. Uh, but that cover two, they're going to have to have, you know, maybe a purple, you know, something like this. And as you can see, we can still complete stuff. It's just it's not going to be, you know, 30, you know, 30 yards. So when they start to come underneath like that, what I like to do is have a play that looks almost identical. There's just one little baby tweak that we're going to make um, that you're going to notice is going to make a big difference. So the way that they have to defend this is they have to have a purple zone a flat zone and a yellow zone on the trip side so it looks just like this on the back side they have to have a purple zone and a yellow zone to defend the back side now their user has to kind of help on the back otherwise we could just hit the back right there so the user is going to be in the middle of the field but now what we're going to do is instead of running the running back on uh, an in route for example we could run the running back on this angle route, right? Or we could also run the slot on a slant. So it looks just like this right here. Now your slant's going to go about 15 yards to the sideline, pass lead outside. And as you see, we're now putting them in a real bad position. Because now what they're going to have to do is this. Now this is what you're going to have. To, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see something that looks like this. You've got two purples two hard flats, you've got this three rec here, and now their user has to take that slant across the field. The problem that this is gonna create for your opponent is now you've got a lot more room over the middle where this running back can kind of get into space, okay? You've also got a ton of room vertically that we haven't even hit on yet. But now, you're, now you can set them up for eventually doing maybe something that looks like this, right? And then now, because because now the zones that you're going to see, right, you're going to see something like this. They're going to use that because they're anticipating a slant. But now your back comes over the middle. And as you can see now, he gets into a really nice little pocket. So the beauty of this concept is you can kind of build off of it uh, in terms of how you're going to want to use this. The other thing that's really, really cool about it is it's very unlikely that you're going to see a lot of zone drops. Obviously, I gave you this concept the other day. This concept can be paired with that one very nicely. And all of this stuff is going to really make it difficult for your opponent to have 30-yard cloud flats. So almost impossible for them to have 30-yard cloud flats. They're going to have to bring their zones up. And then whenever they bring their zones up, that's where curl flat really becomes powerful because now we've got one of the best passing concepts in the game. As you can see right here, there's no zone other than maybe a 30-yard cloud that will even get close to defending that. So when you pair these concepts all together, it creates an offense that's really hard to stop. So I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a real simple little spacing underneath concept. But I think it's really effective for man, really effective for zone drops, especially if they're putting 30-yard clouds on the field. They're just not going to have the resources underneath. Most people like to have three to four people defending underneath 10 yards. This 
uh, concept right here is going to require at least five uh, to be effective, which is then going to open us up vertically down the field in future uh, play setups. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn all of the plays, the whole formation, the whole system as one, or if you just want to get better at the game, maybe you want to check out some of the other eBooks that I have at my Patreon, join the Patreon today for just $10 a month. You can sign up for a year membership if you want to save some money, but you don't have to. It's just a month-to-month -month thing that allows you to just get, again, a ton of bang for your buck. We got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks, several pro player breakdowns, film studies, all that kind of stuff. So if you really want to get better at this game, look no further than our Patreon membership. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just 10 bucks. So head on down there and check that out.